Hey Royals, I'm Aquinas. You made it to my channel and that makes you royalty. Go ahead and ring the bells to like and subscribe and stay in uh, tune with all of the content. I like to share a lot of Disney fun, trips, accessories, different bag collecting, things of that nature. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my Vera Bradley collection. And I have some new pieces that just arrived and I have a couple of things that I haven't shared before. So um, I'll get started with the original um, beer that I collected, the very first beer bag that I got, which is a salute to my alma mater. So my undergrad experience was Michigan State University. And while I was back home in Michigan a couple of years ago, I saw this bag at a local store that sells a lot of college merchandise and I loved it. I was like, you know what, this is a great way to rep my school. So this is their crossbody. It's got a nice long strap and I don't even have it, you know, all the way to its full extent. But I love this bag because it's so roomy. There's a little, you know, pouch on the side that you could easily fit your cell phone in. I see you got a cameo from uh, Sweet Pup over there. <laughs> sure, sweetheart. Then the, the top has a zip top closure. I got some stuff in there. But anyway, there's a, a zipper um, pocket inside. And then you have two front zip pockets. So this is a really functional bag from Vera Bradley. And then, um, all quiet on the Vera Bradley front for a long time. Last year in 2021, I believe it was, they released a Harry Potter collection. Um, and recently with you know in that year my family and I became introduced to the you know Harry Potter franchise and in preparation for a trip to Universal Studios Hollywood we had no idea what a treat we were in for right um but I was able to find some really amazing uh deals at a local Vera Bradley outlet store some leftover bags from the Harry Potter collection. Can you believe it? So I got them for a fraction of the price. Um, another crossbody, same style as the one that I just showed you in the collegiate collection. And it's got Gryffindor. I was Gryffindor. So the same two front pockets, the zip top, the back pocket, and you know, zip closure. What an amazing bag, right? Um, great find. And again, like I said, I was able to find it at a really, really great price. I also got some lunch boxes. I got one that was all black and it had the flags from the four main houses on it. And I gifted that to my dear friend, Emma, who I've mentioned in a couple of my previous uh, videos. Uh, but this one, I picked up Ravenclaw House. This was um, for my daughter. She said that she wanted it. Ravenclaw was just sitting there all alone. They had several things um, left from the Ravenclaw House. And my daughter's like, hey, you know, I would love to have this for school as a lunch tote. So this is a lunch tote. It's got a side pocket here. And then it opens up. We have not used it yet. I think she's going to save it for next year because we're at the end of the school year here. Um, and there's a pocket here. And a lot of things. Your food items. You can even use this as a cooler if you wanted to. There's that one. Oh, in the Harry Potter collection, they had, as they do with most of their items, they had some um, lanyards. And so this one is the Gryffindor. This was Slytherin. Actually, Sweet Wolf, my daughter, her favorite house is Slytherin. She loves to root for the naughty ones sometimes. Um, I think that's so cool because I do too. I'm a big villains person. And you can check out my previous video with my new villains. Uh, accessories. So I'm able to get these for like, I don't know, maybe five bucks a piece because again, this stuff was at the outlet. And then um, a couple months ago, I think back in March, actually, Vera released a beautiful, beautiful Little Mermaid collection. This is not part of the Vera Betty uh, Mermaid collection, but my daughter's a big lover of Ariel. So this is just one of her bubble arms from Disney. But they had a weekender that was gorgeous. And although Ariel isn't my favorite princess, 
the color scheme is my favorite color. It's a teal turquoise. So I waited and waited. It sold out so quickly. I was hoping, hoping for a restock, and we got one. So we did a restock. I was able to get the weekender. And I was able to get it monogrammed. So this is a great placement. Check out this beauty. the different shades of blue, the reds, the pinks, and the floral pattern. Um, on the back, you know, there's the trolley uh, hitch here. Two pockets in the front, that's it. And inside, look at that. So we got the long strap. I'm looking forward to wearing this for a trip out of the country. In July, I'm so excited to take this on the plane and move my camera around. We've got some some pockets here and a couple pockets on this side internally. And like I said, I was able to get her uh, monogrammed, and I chose this new um, teal monogram to, to match the bag. So this was amazing, and. I don't know if it's still available online. It might be. The last time I looked, it was still in um, with the restock. And they have a couple pieces left over. But I'll just show them in a moment. This one I went to my local Dillard's to get. Because um, Dillard's does carry a lot of the Vera Bradley merchandise. But you have to check. Some Dillard's carry the collections and some, some do not. Well, this was beautiful. It's um, you know, a little accessory case. And it looks like a treasure chest. You got flounder there. Um, and it opens up to square. And on the inside, it's perfect for like, you know, packing your jewelry in or something on a trip. So again, I'm looking forward to taking these two. So, my latest acquirement or acquisition. There you go. Um, May the 4th was with us. And I got the new Vera Bradley Star Wars collection. This one I've already opened. And at first I was kind of like on the fence about whether I wanted to purchase something from this co collection or not. Then I thought about it and I'm like, hey, I don't have any um, Star Wars bags yet, you know. Um, and my family loves the Star Wars franchise, so, you know, why not, right? Um, but the reason why I went with this particular bag is because, wait for it on my backpack number, it is convertible. So, it can convert from, you know, an on-the-shoulder bag to, with the pull of the strap, now it's a backpack. You put it on, and you can have it back here. And it's got the characters that we know and love. So we have Chewbacca um, woven in here, um, R2-D2, I saw him with Princess Leia. They they interweaved it so well, I have to really look really close. There's Leia and Han Solo. Okay, right here. Princess Leia and R2-D2. So you kinda, it's kinda like a Where's Waldo with Vera with these kinds of things especially the way they did this collection, you kind of got to really search and find. Um, it's got an outside zipper pocket here, zip top closure, and look at that wonderful inner lining that matches, it's beautiful. And it has two pockets on one side internally, and a zip, zipper pocket. And then on the back side, I guess it kind of depends on how you want to frame it for it to be back side. It's got some side slips right here, so you can put water bottle or something down in here, stuff on there, whatever you want to do when you have it on your back or when you have it on your shoulder. I will most likely wear it on my shoulder unless I'm going to an amusement park. And then I'll have it on my back. So I'm so excited about this one. I got more excited once I opened it and saw the conversion piece of it. Although I knew about it online when I read the description, when I actually saw it, I was like, that's really cool. Um, maybe that's something that some other companies might want to consider how they might want to incorporate. Now, lastly, again, with the as you can see, I have not opened this one yet. But the 
Hold on, this one I have personalized. So this is the same print as that convertible backpack and shoulder carry, but it is a beauty bag. Beauty bag. <laughs> So I love it. I need I needed something like that. There's a little, little strap here, you know, home carry strap. Obviously, at the top. And that sewing beautiful inner lining. I just love that. There you have done it. You have how done yourself. So if you guys are interested in these, I've been following um Vera on social media or on Instagram to see when the new collections release. And then I also have uh, signed up for email alerts. That's how I found out when that Little Mermaid uh, weekender got back in stock. And speaking of Little Mermaid, I don't think I... So this one, this one is the also a lanyard from the Little Mermaid collection. And it's got a beautiful seashell charm on there. Had to have that one. And one other item that I did get from the Little Mermaid collection is um, some flip flops. They were gorgeous. I got them for my little girl, Sweet Wolf. Um, and she has been wearing them. She loves them. And they're pretty sturdy. So I don't feel so bad about you know, paying more than what I normally might pay for a pair of flip flops because they're so pretty. So, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Do you have any? Vera Bradley merchandise that you're passionate about that you like? Have you seen any collections that really moved you? Go ahead and comment down below. Take care. See you next time.